In this video, we'll talk about how to convert your Notion decks into Anki cards. You might be a medical student studying for your exams and you might have come across the idea of a space repetition or if you're not a medical student, you're someone that's trying to retain a lot of information. You might come to realize that there is a big problem with space repetition. The flashcards pile up and pile up and pile up to a point where they become untenable to manage. And this is a real big problem for anyone that's used Anki in the past. Or you might find something like you want to record your notes, but you don't want to use Anki as your only point of data recording because you want to actually be able to look on those notes properly later. I came across this problem and I found that there was no good solution for a long, long time. It was either you had to put your notes in and forget about the space repetition thing or you could just put into Anki and hope to memorize it or looking it up was a pain later. However, in this video, we're going to be talking about the solution to that problem and this amazing, this really amazing plugin called Notion to Anki is something that has genuinely changed uh, my life, I feel. It has made the idea of creating lots of flashcards without the burden of not being able to look it up later, much more tenable. If you haven't heard of this before, this will definitely help you if you're using both Notion and Anki and you want to have the flashcard system while also having a database for yourself. And I'll just give you a quick demo of it. In this um, screen here, you can see that I've got some Notion stuff. So this is my Notion topic about breast pain and breast lumps. So I want to memorize the things inside here. Um, now, basically the way to do it is I would actually create a separate page and this is my Notion to Anki page that I'm going to put and the reason for creating this particular page is I'm going to copy and paste the stuff into there because you can see that this particular thing is part of a much bigger note. So I actually want to just collect some stuff and copy, literally copy and paste it into there for the questions that I want to memorize as flashcards. So the way that Notion to Anki works is that it actually takes the top level toggle lists like you've got here. And so this will be the front of the card, for example, diagnostic strategy for approaching breast pain. That'll be the front of the card. And then the back of the card will contain whatever happens to be inside of that. So in this case, it'll contain this particular picture from John Murta. So if I now go to this right top right corner and then click export, I want to export it as a HTML. So I'll do that. And uh, it takes a little while to export, but once it's done, it's done. So while that's exporting, um, I'll show you the actual Notion to Anki website. So it looks like this. Um, it's pretty nice. It's got um, a very simple layout, which is that you just click get started and then you uh, upload the zip file that comes from here. So now you see that it's exporting to Dex. I'm going to export it uh, just by its default. So I'll just remember that it's got a CF there and CF standing for can't find. <laughs> um, and so I'll take this deck now, drag it over to Safari. Oops, did that work properly? So sorry, I'll click, it, I'll click to upload and then I'll remember to go for this folder. And so click convert and then I'll wait. So this is gonna take a while to upload, but there is a hacky way to make it load much faster. And that's by actually running a local version on your Notion to Anki. Okay, and so roughly that took about uh, maybe like two minutes, three minutes, so not too long, um, but certainly you can do a lot quicker with the, um, by running it on your own computer. Anyway, so I've got this and it's already converted it into my deck. So I literally just click on the deck and it'll load it straight to Anki. Um, so you can see now it's got Notion to Anki Breast. And so when I look at the cards, um, it comes up like this. So list four important examinations findings here, and then voila. So it comes up here as a card. Really, really awesome. Now, there are a few things that you need to do in order to try to fix this particular thing. Um, so you can see that it's gotten a bit stretched. And in the next part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about how to fix that. So let's talk about two things. So the first one is we want to try to fix that image stretching. And if you just go to uh, www.com.au and tutorials, you'll find an article that I've got called removing image stretching in Anki. And basically what I want you to do is take this code that you see and copy that. Now let's go back to Anki. And in Anki, uh, when we go back to our decks, 
we find that if you go to the, um, let's say, let's go to check brief, and then I'm gonna click add, um, it doesn't matter just whatever deck you're using. Now, it'll default to NTA basic. Um, so what you can do is you can actually just go choose there. And then the cards bit button is what you want to click next. So click that. Um, basically, you've got this front template, back template and styling. In back template, I want you to paste that code that we copied before. And same with installing. So just go to the bottom and paste that there. So now, hopefully that should work. And so if we have that uh, image card, let's see if it works here. Starting now. Doo -doo -doo. Um, so that'll like paste a lot more nice. So let's take let's take that one that we did before just to see whether that's definitely worked. Um, so this is gonna come up as Notion Aggie Breast, yep. And say so now, and then you'll find that voila, the actual thing doesn't stretch and cause any weird things anymore, which is good. So yeah, that's something I figured out myself. You won't be able to find that anywhere else on the internet, so that's pretty cool. So something that's been popularly requested is about this article, how to run a Doppler application example using Notion to Anki. Because basically, if you're using Notion to Anki, you might find that using the website is kind of slow. In fact, when you upload um, new decks, to, it takes a few minutes for it to process, and that um, is something that we may not want to wait for. So the solution to this is actually to run it on your own computer. And the way you can do this is by uh, going on to my website, go to www.dubdo.com.au, then go to tutorials and find this article called how to run a Docker application example using Notion to Anki. Um, make sure you've got Docker itself installed. So I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, but you need to install Docker on your computer. Um, then, so go to my website, then click on this link that says here on my GitHub, and then it will go to this page. Now, this page, you have to use my particular code just because of the way that I've coded it. But if you click this green button and then click download zip, then it will download the zip to your downloads folder and you just unzip that zip. Um, and sorry if that sounds bad. <laughs> um, but then go to um, like the finder folder that has it. Now, this is terminal on the left hand side. So what I want you to do is type in CD and then drag this folder across. So make sure there's a space between those and then you'll enter the folder. Then I want you to literally copy and paste the stuff that's in my uh, article. So, and step three, if you just copy and paste this bit that says docker build dash dash tag and make sure to include the dot here at the end of that code. So it's only got one dot. Then what will happen is that it's installed the app. Then if you copy this next bit of code, which is docker run dash dash publish, this is the bit that actually puts it into the web browser. So now you can go into Safari or whichever web browser you use. And then if you type in localhost colon 8000, then you've got this version of Notion to Anki running on your own computer. So you don't even need internet. This is actually running from your computer. So um, then you can click get started and you can see it's super quick. Uh, I'm gonna call it my coolest deck because uh, I've tried this a few times now and you can do whatever you want. Um, and then just scroll down and you can see the click to upload where you would upload the folder as per usual. So if you just take that export folder from before, convert, and then you can see that the click to download thing comes really quickly. That was real time. Um, and that becomes a new deck. And then you can just click on that deck in order to install it straight to Anki. And so then you can see that my coolest deck will appear somewhere. I think it hasn't appeared in my one just because I've already installed my coolest deck, which is exactly the same deck. So that's maybe why it hasn't worked entirely for me, but um, that's, that will work for you for sure. So cool. I hope that was really useful for you. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you like this stuff, uh, please hit the subscribe button and you can see more of it. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Um, also, I have a lot of stuff on my blog about Notion to Anki specifics. So if you just need a written version of how to do this, you can check that out as well. Okay, thanks. Bye.